Nation. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. market update. And thank you, Tommy, for that uh, early morning kickoff that you give us at 9 with great information. Let's go to the Dow. The Dow is up 160 at 38,954. You can see it broke the uptrend channel line. Now it's gone back into what was um, a support, then it became a resistance. Now we'll see where it is at 38. 962. If by Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to draw this in right now as we're talking, this Chapman falling at formation. If it, if it closes sharply above the, hey, if it goes into the 39,000s, I think that would be a very good sign. We'll watch this closely over the next two days. That's two sessions. The S&P right now trading at an all-time high at 5184.97. Uh, right into the inside track repellent zone. How does it last the day? Well, so far the market's taken the economic news uh, positively. That's the jobless uh, jobs number. Let's go to the QQQ. The QQQ is up a dollar ninety four all time high. Leg E has been speaking four forty seven point forty high WM. So the um, so the Qs are up point four three percent. The IWM is up. Uh, 1.39% at up 287 to 209.85. This is what I was saying the other day that if it was able to get to the 208, 209 area, that's going to impart to us some kind of uh, information that says any market pullback in March, which often happens, um, we watch this closely because it could become a leader back going into April, May. We'll be watching this very closely to see are the small caps, the 2000 starting to move. We're looking at gold, another big day, and the upside up 14 at 2180. It's almost like a single leg A to the upside. It broke that inside track re repellent line in the uh, weekly chart. It, we haven't closed the session yet, but so far it's well above it, and it's going to the monthly longer term. Uh, inside track repellents are fabulous action. Dollar therefore is going down. Yep, it's down um, 28 ticks at 102.54. Crude oil looked like it was going to break out the other day, kind of slowing down. It's uh, down 50 cents at 78.40. And this is what we're going to be looking at bonds. Uh, bonds are up only 230 seconds. So there's something going on here that's quite interesting. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments. Hope you can say, check out my phone for David Music. See you in a few and have a great weekend.